Hey folks, this is Jimmy here on Paleo Mountain in Strange Vermont. And this is a shout out video to Seven Rocks out in New York. He's down in the Long Island area. And he collects from Long Island, Brooklyn, all in that area. And he's been, I think he has two videos out now. You might want to go check him out, see what he's got. Um, the trading trail went from the Connecticut River where I am all the way down to the Long Island Sound and I'm sure it went up also and we're talking thousands of years ago here with these artifacts what I want to concentrate on are some matates or grinding stones today because I found one today that I really like which is right there and if you know me I, I find the faces in everything and if you can see the face of the giant, there you go. Look at his eye. This is a really nice stone. I found it in my, right, right in front of the stone wall, the uh, serpent wall where I find a lot of these stones, these matates. I found this there, the frog matate, or grinding stone. And I found this one there, this beautiful pecked out stone. Stone pecking technology. But this one I found today and it has the image of a giant on it. I'm going to turn it around because it's nice on the back also. It's all ground down. It's heavy. I don't want to drop it on my buffalo. This here I found maybe... 100 feet away from where I found this in the field and it I was digging a fence post and I pulled this disc out and it's made of granite and it's it's got a it's it's a shape of a head but it's a strange shaped head it's got that cone shape and you could see a headdress going way up that's why they wore their headdresses that way look at the shape of the skull and this is a statue, and I'll show you why. It's flattened out on the bottom and polished to where it sits straight up on a flat surface. That's a sculpture. This piece of white quartz with the face of the giant. This is one of my favorite pieces. You can see the square jaw. the center of the stone. This is a cutting tool. You could have deflushed a mammoth with this. There's a face there. It's one of my favorite stones. Very cool. Quartz knife. Very sharp. It's been used. Found this in the mound area. And it, of course, has what? Face of a giant. That beautiful profile. And a long headdress. That's a cool piece. Very nice. Um, there's my favorite stone right there. That would have sat on top of a small shaft, personal weapon. Looks like a primitive horse, his mane. It's a very cool stone. Um, this giant knife here. I found this in the stone wall. I slid it out. And it's very sharp on this edge. Serrated. And it has a long cone headed guy. There was an inlay lie here, it fell out. Like I find on a lot of my objects, like this one. 
right there in late eye. Um, this is another knife with the cone headed guy on it. It's got an inlaid eye on it. It's got one on this side also. And there's the blade end down here. Some points I found. I don't find arrowheads, but I do find some points. These are primitive, small primitive points. Crescent knife. Another finger tool. Blade. The face on it. Elephant. Greenstone pendant. I like this piece. Um, this was found right in the mound area, some strange little stone. I knew it was special, so I collected it. And you might like this one. That was found in the mound area, very sharp knife, and you can see the face. This was found, same place. A little pink stone, pink and white. Looks like a cat to me. Piece of jewelry. We don't hug around the neck. Well, there you go, folks. This is a shout out to Seven Rocks. Check out his channel. He's down in New York. And he needs to, uh, Get some subscribers to look at his things. And there you go. Some grinding stones, some matates, some pareidolia going on. Uh, frogs. Um, giants. <laughs> look at that. I'm going to leave you with this piece of pareidolia right here. Thanks for watching, folks.